Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do interest groups lobby the courts? How do interest groups influence the courts? This is a crucial question because the courts play a significant role in shaping public policy. Interest groups use several strategies to lobby the courts. One of the most common methods is by filing what's called an amicus curiae brief, or a friend of the court brief. This brief allows the interest group to provide the court with information and arguments that support their position on a case. For example, in the landmark case of Obergefell v. Hodges, which legalized same-sex marriage nationwide, numerous interest groups filed amicus briefs arguing for or against the rights of same-sex couples to marry. Another way interest groups lobby the courts is by filing lawsuits themselves. This is known as political litigation. Here, an interest group might sue the government to challenge a policy or law they believe is unjust or unconstitutional. A classic example is the NAACP's efforts in the 1950s and 1960s to challenge segregation in public schools, which led to the historic Supreme Court ruling in Brown v. Board of Education. Interest groups also support test cases, which are lawsuits that aim to set a legal precedent. These cases are often the first of their kind and can have a significant impact on future legal decisions. For instance, conservative groups have used test cases to challenge environmental regulations and abortion laws. In addition to filing lawsuits, interest groups may fund and support legal cases that align with their goals. This can involve providing financial and legal resources to the parties involved in the case. This approach is often more cost-effective and requires fewer resources than lobbying legislators directly. It's important to note that direct lobbying of judges is not allowed because it violates legal ethics and could compromise the impartiality of the court. Therefore, interest groups rely on these indirect methods to influence court decisions. Interest groups carefully choose which courts to target, often focusing on state Supreme Courts or the federal Supreme Court, where their efforts are likely to have the most impact. They also tailor their arguments to the specific justices in the context of the case, using techniques like frames to present their views effectively. In summary, interest groups lobby the courts through amicus briefs, political litigation, supporting test cases, and providing legal resources. These strategies allow them to influence court decisions without directly lobbying judges, ensuring their voices are heard in the judicial process. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.